Okay, so listen. Hello, beautiful world, beautiful brothers and sisters of the light, of the Lord. Love to you all in the mighty name of Jesus. So listen, this is a prophetic word that hit me hard. Are your hands on the steering wheel of your life? Or are they too busy looking in the rear view mirror, okay? This is speaking to someone who's considering going back to something from the past in some way, okay? It could be an old job. It could be an old habit. It could be an old relationship. It could be just an old way, you know, something that, that you used to do or, or something's trying to pull you back into your old ways, your old, you know, rageful nature, the old person that snaps back and reacts and wants to react with their fists or react with a harsh word or an old friend that's trying to pull you back into going to the club or just sitting on the phone and, and gossiping about something just whatever it might be okay it could be anything that old lover that you still have feelings for okay that's trying to reach out to you there is a reason it's in the past and this is oh man man such a strong prophetic word and it hit me really really hard so let me just tell you this reminds me of a painting I made back like when I was 20 something years old and it was like a melting a, a, a melting heart like a dripping heart a bleeding heart that and I wrote in it um, like in cursive I wrote never look, look back just the words and then that was the heart and at the time I was trying to get over a relationship and like move forward right and um, it was trying to give myself strength and, and I think and I, I made that painting it just reminded me of this as I sat to make this word for everyone else um, this happened to me a couple of days ago I went to um, hike with my dog and we went out um, to a place I hadn't been in a while there was no other cars around. There was there was actually like one other car that was far, far parked away. And um, like parked behind me, there wasn't anything. You like pull in, it's the desert, right? There's nothing around. It's just, there's nothing there. So we go, it's a little bit hot. We we, we only stayed for a little bit because it was, it was really hot and already in the day. It was like nine something. But um, anyway, so we get back in my car and I'm like sitting there. My dog's sitting next to me and I'm like jamming to this song that I love so much if you haven't heard it it's like it's I was jamming to it's oh god it's so good it goes the blood the blood of Jesus Christ the blood the blood of Jesus Christ the blood the blood of Jesus Christ the blood the blood that is shed for you the blood that is shed for me his blood is what sets us free, free for eternity. Read Isaiah 53. Ooh, God, there's so much more. That song is so good. So I was like jamming to that, like singing it just loud, way louder than that. And I was sitting there with my dog, just like probably crying, listening, just just jamming. Always, that's always me driving around listening to, uh, you know, my, my um, gospel music, just praising the lord so i was doing that and right at, at the, the time that there's a time in the song that comes up where he goes um he'll be coming in a white horse right and so right when that part came up this woman comes riding up and on a horse and so it was like white but it was like spotted like it was tan and white it wasn't just plain white so it wasn't exactly like you know the um the song but Either way, it startled. I saw her and I and my dog started squealing, okay? Like he does that when he sees other animals normally or um kids. Like he just gets so excited and he'll start to like squeal really loud and it's embarrassing, right? And so I was like and I had my windows down, remember? So cuz I was jamming. And so 
instead of making her like dog or her horse get like nervous or something I didn't want to I didn't want to bother her okay so because my dog was feeling so I decided to go ahead and back up so I start to back up nothing mind you nothing is behind me there's nothing there it's the desert you back up and then you go onto the road and so I'm backing up I did look behind me to make sure there wasn't anybody behind me right but I still backed up a little bit fast only thinking of the other person not of myself okay and all of a sudden I felt something like I hit something and I mind you I have not been thank you God I have not been in the accident I'm a careful driver I like don't do the God has been protecting me um, for many years so and I'm not a bad driver but anyhow I hit something right but there was nothing there I get out I don't see anything I don't see a dent nothing so I leave right I get home later I'm like that was so weird what did I hit that was just so strange so I get home later and I, I'm going and p taking out the trash and then I see I have a dent in my car okay but again there was nothing back there so I'm like this is so weird and I was upset because I'm like man really I don't want my car but mind you I also let me tell you something I don't care about material things so I was like that's just that's just the enemy trying to get me in my feelings so I sat and I said okay God what are you trying to tell me about this what are you trying to tell me about what just happened because it was something big right and then I was like I sat and pondered and it hit me if you go backwards in any way in any way if you go backwards you are going to be blindsided and not even know it's coming and it's going to hurt you destroy you get you messed up in some way and you are not even going to see it coming it's going to happen so fast. Okay? Do you hear me? And remember what I said. I was thinking about someone else when I was going backwards. I wasn't in my right. I, I, I did it fast without thinking. Without kind of preparing, right? As I normally would. I was thinking of her, not me. Um... <laughs> And this is what the Lord is trying to tell us right now. If we go back to something for someone else's reasons or to help someone else or to please something else to for convenience in some way. It's not going to be good. It's not going to end well. Hear these words, whoever I am speaking to. And I'm talking, even if you don't even have anything that's big that you might be going back to, okay? You might just have something that is a small, you know, habit or just something that you've gotten rid of, like, that you might be considering, um, you know, just an old job that might be calling you because they need you or but you've already left it behind just something simple but the Lord is saying that if we go back in any way we are going to fail okay oh God hear these words listen to these remember Lot's wife right Genesis 1926 but Lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt it, that, that's just one verse that that'll, that that should hit you right there, okay? And Philippians three thirteen. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do: forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. Okay, okay. Do you hear that? Forgetting what lies behind and straining forward, pushing forward to the unknown, to the scary, to the jumping in, 
to something you may, that maybe it's the future. It, it you have no idea what it what lies. But but guess what? You know what lies behind. You already been there, so you don't need to be there. Go there anymore. Forget it. Cut it out. Luke nine six two, right here. Jesus said to him, "No one." who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. Oh my God, do you hear this? Don't look back right now. No matter how hard you want to. No matter how hard your heart pulls <sighs> no matter thank you Jesus oh I love you guys oh I love you guys who thank you Holy Ghost like this is a hard one for me it's a hard one for me but I hear you Lord I hear you and I know what you have is better his thoughts are above our thoughts. He has came to give us life and life more abundantly. What he wants for us is better than what we want for us. So just remember that, okay? Like, he wants something better. He has something better. Don't be afraid. Don't hold on to the old. If it's meant to be, it will come back. God will... It, you just have to take your hands off of it. You just can't go back. You cannot put yourself into it at all. Okay? God will... God will make... Your heart... Give you your heart's desires. He will give you better than what you can even imagine. Just trust in Him right now. Trust in the Lord right now. He is about to return. Yes, we don't know the day or the time. But trust in him. Turn from your wicked ways. Turn from anything that you may be doing. Don't consider going back to the past. The old is dead and gone. The future is bright. The future is here. The future is where you are going. The future. God has something big for you. Trust these words. I love you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Amen.